The Corps of the Crown Prince and the Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister has launched the official website of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The website, www.crownprince.bh, is available in both English and Arabic and aims to provide information to the public on His Royal Highness's latest activities and engagements. The website contains a media center which provides press statements, photos and videos. A Twitter feed from His Royal Highness's official Twitter account is also published live on the website, allowing easy access to His Royal Highness's daily tweets. The Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, participated today in the 27th Global Conference for the Supreme Council of Islamic Affairs in the Republic of Egypt under the patronage of the Egyptian President Abdul Fattah al Sisi. The Deputy Chairman delivered a speech conveying the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the Egyptian leadership, government, and people. He affirmed that the Islamic nation faces challenges that require determination and patience, noting that among them is terrorism on one hand and the spread of secularism on the other. He called on the leaders to lead the nation to achieve peace. The Arabia Plus Conference 2017 concludes its activities tomorrow at the Gulf Hotel and Convention Center. The conference, which is being held under the patronage of the President of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, brought together leading plastic and reconstructive surgeons and experts from over 30 countries. The global conference involved a wide range of workshops and keynote addresses that conferred on an array of topics ranging from the future of fat grafting, burns and trauma surgery, facial aesthetics and regenerative medicine, as well as hands-on workshops for wound healing and fillers and Botox applications. The conference is the first of its kind in magnitude with regards to plastic surgery in the kingdom and comes in line with the directives of the National Health Plan, which was launched in January to boost capacity building and medical education for Bahraini caters, while making the kingdom a hub for health and education and the latest medical trends. I think it's important from two, uh, two points. First, the gathering of the uh, medical professionals, especially in a specialty, very uh, promising and uh, very promoting, and every day there is something new, like plastic surgery and reconstructive surgery and burns, is very important to exchange ideas, to uh, discuss the characteristics of the people in the area and to know what is exactly the proper treatment for every uh, illness or every uh, problem we have. Uh, second is the for the young generation. Young generation transport to different parts of the world is becoming expensive and difficult and uh, I think bringing all this gathering here is a very good opportunity for them to learn, to meet the experts, to know what exactly what to do with the different problems they face. I'm invited to talk in the Arabia Plus, it's a great honor. And we are going to talk about the post-bariatric plus surgery. You know that uh, obesity is like epidemic in the world and uh, people after the bariatric surgery lose a lot of weight so they keep a lot of extra skin so we develop a sp approach that uh, not only can do one surgery but we can perform four surgeries in the same person at the same time and we can release the patient home in the day after surgery no blood transfusion so it's a, a new approach that we are bringing here, invited by Dr. Tariq, and we hope that uh, the people from Bahrain uh, uh, like it.